We're here in Hydro, Oklahoma at Pebar Farms. We share our farm with uh, thousands of people each year with agritainment. We have pumpkin patch, petting zoo, um, laser tag, haunted maze, all of those things, and everybody's got a different favorite. We've been riding the tractor ride, and now we're here uh, waiting for the other people to get back so we can ride the train ride. Before doing this, we were wheat, peanut, and cattle. And we started the corn maze in 2001. Uh, really didn't know, I thought, I, I was hoping for uh, a thousand people, and we ended up having somewhere close to five to 6,000 the first year. And uh, by year three, it was continuing to grow, and my father-in-law and I just saw the need that it was time to kind of shut down the family farm as far as conventional farming and take a new direction into agritourism. Agritourism provides farmers and ranchers uh, primarily a, another source of income, so it's a way of diversifying income. Uh, but it also has a secondary benefit of providing um, education opportunities, again, for people who uh, either didn't grow up on farms or have lost that farm connection. So it's really just an alternate strategy, much like second crops and uh, the winter grazing and those kind of activities are um, to the farmer. I think any farmer that has a passion for sharing his farm uh, would be excited about this career. I mean, just being able to, uh, to teach kids about where our food comes from. We're raising that, again, first generation of kids that have no idea where their food comes from. It's a growing industry. It's larger than, than most people think. I mean, it consumes uh, everything from wineries to strawberry patches to blackberry patches, Christmas tree farms. Uh, dairies that actually share their dairies for you know so it's huge and there's a great potential to, to be able to educate again these kids and share with them your farming experience just very few how many of y'all think it's one